Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and we are gonna try something different today. I've tried this one other time and I totally screwed it up so it didn't end up working. I am going to try and film two videos at once, one face. It's gonna be a minute. So the first video we are filming, I really hope I don't look too dark. Like I'm trying this like different setup and I don't want my face to be in the shadows cause like we don't put queens in shadows. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. P.S. guys, are we really excited? I found my ears again, so like we can officially return them to their proper place, which is on my head. So the first video, which is the intro that we are doing right now, is a product I have been wanting it to try. I actually got a request for it this morning, and I was like, oh, honey, I'm a step ahead of you because I got my milk makeup right her, guys, right her. I have the foundation and the concealer. Picked the foundation up in Golden Light. Eh, don't know don't care and I picked up the concealer in light hopefully it's light enough it doesn't look light enough because I'm really pale but like whatever who cares and uh, so we're gonna get this on and do an all-day wear test I'll check in at the end of the day you know the drill all that stuff da, 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 da. and um, I'm gonna split off uh, after I get the foundation out and do another video that has to do with eyeshadows I'm really excited about it but I figured if I put them together the video would be too long so I needed to separate them but I only have one face boo-boo and I can only try them so much so we're gonna try that route God, I hate it when I move something and it makes continuous noise and I'm just like, stop! It drives me insane. So let's go ahead and put these on our face. These are very talked about. How about you talk while you prime? Because Paige, we both know you forgot to prime your face because I have no memory. Um, as always though, my face is pr not primed. Paige, why? Washed, it's clean. It's been, you know, moisturized and all that good shit. So let's put this on. We're gonna go in primerizer just to keep everything fair, equal and all that good stuff. Cause you know, we all about equality and making some noise, making sure our shit stays up. That means when talks down, y'all putting it up. That's a song. I think it's, what is it? Remember the name? Fort Minor, I think. That might be wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> okay. Now let's set that business. All right. You guessed it. It was on top. We're going in with the all-nighter spray. And for those of you wondering, <coughs> don't inhale that. For those of you wondering, that tastes disgusting. And um, if you're wondering where my primer water went, it's like under this pile. Um, and I'm just kind of pulling what's on top. Because if I dig under, it's all going to avalanche. And I can't handle that right now because, you know, I got stuff to do. So um, about this milk makeup, what do we know? According to the box that it comes in here, it says Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. Full coverage, water-thin foundation provides a weightless, long-wearing matte finish. Silicone-free formula won't clog pores so skin can breathe. Blurring microspheres minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and imperfections for smooth, flawless-looking skin. Formula is housed in a mess-free, no-drip, airtight package. Direction, shake well before use. Apply one to two drops to the center of the face and blend outward layer as needed. You know what I just heard? Blah, blah, blah. Put it on your face. <laughs> now, I have heard a couple reviews on this. I try not to watch too many reviews on things. Or shake it well. Um, I try to not watch a ton just because, like, I don't want to alter what I think of it. Um, and it said to drop it straight onto my face. So that's a little not my color. All right. Um, that's okay. That's all right. Page. They're never your color, so just don't even worry about it. We're going to go in. We're going to start Beauty Blender. We're just going to start with a little bit because I did see that a little bit... Oh, that's not bad. I saw that a little bit of this went a long way, so we definitely want to start lighter on the amount we use. Oh, smells good. I can't think of what it smells like. I'll get back to you on that. I mean, that blends out really quickly. It's very easy to use. Um, I definitely, like, after just my puzzle after my one initial like go around right there I wouldn't say that it's full coverage like right from the start what the hell is in my hair there's something in my hair and I didn't like it It was like a fuzzy I don't want a fuzzy in my hair thank you so I think it's probably buildable to full coverage but that's just like one little pass but that was um the product I had on my hand so we're gonna go in again and keep seeing what we be getting P.S. I was thinking about this today. I was watching old reviews um, of Tati. And if you guys don't watch Tati, Tati, she's the glam life guru. She has like 3 million subscribers, blah, blah, blah. But I, like, I have never actually sat down and been like, oh, Paige, like, you emulate this person or like, you are like this person. And she is the first person that I have watched them. And I'm like, wow, I didn't realize it. I have literally, like, 
such a similar channel to hers. I have similar, like, I'm a little bit more like than she is. She's a much more like controlled and sophisticated kind of woman and I'm a little psychotic. But like, I never realized how like similar we are as far as like our channel and our content. She's all about like trying stuff. She's super real. Like brands don't, like a lot of brands don't even want to deal with her or like want to send her PR packages. And I'm just like, yep, that's me. <laughs> Not that I'm like in that position yet, but I can totally see that being like where I end up. Like, oh yeah, we don't want to send one to Paige because Paige is a B word. But so yeah, shout out to Tati. If I had to pick someone that I would like collab with, totally would collab with her. I love her realness. Wow. This makeup is so lightweight. Like, holy cow. And the coverage is beautiful. You guys see that? Obviously, guess which side's done. <laughs> so that looks beautiful so far. Um, it's sitting really well. Um, I definitely, I think that this is one of those foundations that um, the beauty blender and like pushing it into the skin is very necessary. Otherwise, I think it would sit very heavily. I am curious about this one and the brush. So let's go ahead and grab a little more product and not let it run all over because it is pretty liquid. As you can see it running down my hands. Let's move the sleeve up and let's go ahead and go in with our brush. And we'll see what we get here. I have seen this applied several ways. Um, some This is a very like toss-up foundation. Some people swear by a brush. Some people swear by a beauty blender um, for it. Like, a, like you guys know, if you've watched me for any amount of time, um, I am a beauty blender whore. It's my go-to. It's my thing. But I'm always open to other options. Because as we saw in one of my videos, what happens when you lose your beauty blender? Because you sat it, I don't know, in a bag by your foot. What? This is so easy to move around with a brush. Like, it doesn't pull, it doesn't tug. It is a little bit streaky. It's nowhere near as streaky as I've had with, like, other foundations in a brush, though. Um, Paige, why did you think golden was a good idea for you right now? Like, what, what part of this looks like your skin tone? I don't know. That's okay, though, guys. We're a professional. Doesn't matter. Wow, that is so pretty. Okay, I think you get more coverage, as usual, with a brush. It's not super, super streaky. Like, I could probably get away with it. But I'm anal, so I'm going to go in and, like, kind of brush this out. Ah, what just fell on me? That was not nice. My cell phone. Got one of them plus iPhones, and it just fell on my foot. Okay, now that I've got 17 broken toes. 17. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Okay, guys, that looks so beautiful. I know, again, let's, like, overlook for, like, 10 minutes the fact that it's not my shade. And there's another hair on my face. Does anyone else end up with, like, 100 hairs on their face? Oh, my God. So I'm a little bit curious about how this claims to be mattifying because I'm like looking a little bit shiny right now, like a little, a lot shiny. Maybe it dries mattified. I don't know. I've literally had to fix my nose four times, but it's not the foundation's fault. It's the fact that they're just keep on being little hairs that are creeping up all over the damn place. Okay, so I don't want to keep coating too much product. So, so far, you guys, I'm actually liking the way that this went on. Like I said, I'm a little curious about the wear of it as far as it being greasy. That's a little like, <laughs> and if, if it oxidizes even a little bit, oh boy, am I going to look good. So let's go ahead, got that extra nastiness off my hand. Let's look at this concealer, shall we? What does this say? The Milk Flex Concealer. Full coverage liquid concealer. Thick, wait, no. Start over. Blah. Flex Concealer. Full coverage liquid concealer. Flexes with skin's movement without cracking or creasing. Infused with blue lotus, chamomile, and marshmallow to hydrate and help calm skin. Marshmallow? So I picked this up, like I said before, in the shade Light. Does not look very light, but oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, that's like the same exact color. <laughs> you guys, it's the same color. <laughs> that and this was the like the lightest shade okay well let's just go ahead and uh use a little bit of it so we can kind of see what we think we'll go ahead you know since how it's the same color i could use it over the acne spots there's an idea although that foundation did a really nice job at leveling out my skin tone so i can't really say much let's just go ahead and buff that in <laughs> it's not the best it's not the worst i don't I have a hard time with it because I feel like it's not as full coverage as I need it to be, which is kind of shocking because I keep thinking like, how is this not full coverage? It looks very full coverage. I'm going to try to just pat it out with my finger real quick. Yeah, that never goes well, Paige. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. 
For some reason, anytime I try to pat out concealer with my finger, uh-uh. It looks like a little kid that's playing in dirt. It's not good. Yeah, for some reason, that's not giving me a lot of coverage, and I don't know why. It did an okay job on, like, the couple of acne spots that I tried to cover, but this is not my favorite. I'm going to go in with my Shape Tape real quick. Wow, that looks beautiful with my Shape Tape. Okay, so the Shape Tape blended in so nice, and I've said it a million times. Honey, if you cannot hang with the tape, you cannot hang with the page. So that looks insanely beautiful. Um... So far, the foundation is sitting very nicely on the skin. I definitely am going to have to do something. I can already see the around the mouth getting really dark again. Again, you guys, if I knew what was causing that, maybe it's because there's so much, like, talking and oxygen that leaves my mouth that it just, like, oxidizes quicker. I'm just going to take a dot of concealer around here. Just the tiniest amount. And you guys, if this is something that you struggle with, is like that weird oxidizing thing, that's all I do is I just try to take a little bit of my lightest concealer, or if you use like a foundation, if you don't use concealer, whatever it is, and I just try to like balance it out a little just like that. And it really does help um, just the tiniest bit with with the overall color of it i've also used my custom enhancer drops from cover fx because those are really really light i've even on some occasions used my uh, l'oreal pro matte because you guys have seen how light that color is on me right now so i just use anything that's lighter to kind of lighten up that area without compromising like the overall like cakiness of you know that part of my face um as you guys know if you layer on a ton of products in one area it can make it cakey and i don't ever want to do that so um i try to just be really consistent but really really thin right in that area if i have to add product um we are caking a little around the nose which that isn't crazy for me but as i'm like going through the process sometimes i'll get like lines and i can keep kind of buffing them out and then eventually they do go away if it's a decent foundation or if it works for me um I was able to pretty well blend this down the neck. It looks okay. I hope it picks up okay on camera. There's a big shadow from my giant head over my neck, so don't be confused. Um, but I think overall, you guys, so far, this is looking really beautiful. And it's definitely full coverage. Like, holy shit, <laughs> full coverage. Um, this would definitely get, like, my red-ass stamp of approval. It looks so good. And I didn't have to put on very much to get this coverage. Like... Not very much at all. If this wears even a little bit, whew, honey, I'm going to be like, hey, how about we first of all get the right shade and then how about we wear it forever because I'm I'm loving this coverage. Um, it's, it is, as far as how it feels on the face, I don't want to say it feels really heavy, but it does feel like you can definitely feel that you're wearing it. It's not a super lightweight um, formula. Uh, for the amount of coverage you get, it's definitely lightweight. It reminds me a lot, you guessed it, of the Estee Lauder um, maximum coverage that I use. I mix in with everything. It reminds me a lot of that like feel on the face. Of course, this is a lot more coverage than this is, but it gives me that same kind of homage feeling like, oh, you can definitely feel it, but it's not horrible for the coverage that you get. Um, I still haven't figured out what that smell is. I'm going to keep trying to figure that out because that's going to drive me insane. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What do I want to, you know what? I'm going to set with my Lottie today. I think that this definitely needs a something that is very brightening. My Lottie London is a very true, true translucent powder. It is very nice brightening to the face. Um, I've had issues in the past with like my Laura Mercier um, kind of bringing down the color of my skin and making it more uh, warm toned. My Cover FX does a pretty good job, but it's not like a true white translucent. And then the same issue with my Urban Decay Velvetizer. I love it. But it does on occasion make me a little bit orange warm tone underneath. And today I really just need a lightweight true translucent, which I have found to love the Lottie London for. And it's super affordable, you guys. It's like, what, $8 or something like that? I think it's only available right now online, but I am... Oh my god, my cat's like, I don't know, chasing... Well, knowing, knowing her, she's chasing a fuzzle around the room. My cat... But anyways, it's super affordable. I think it's still available only online at Ulta.com, um, but I love it. You guys, I fell in love with this line. Like, almost everything from it I'm obsessed with, so it's great. If you have not checked out my Lottie London, like my first impressions video, I will link it down below. I will try to remember, because it is fabulous. Now, let's go ahead and kind of go in here, pat out them creases a little. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, yes, girl. You guys, one of these days, I just want to do, like, a get ready with me video because I feel like there are so many things I always want to say, but if I talk about them, my videos are going to be, like, way longer than they already are, which, oh my god. 
the video I put up this morning about Burt's Bees was 25 minutes long. I'm like, stop, Paige. You need to stop. Reevaluate your life. Is that something you guys would want to see? Would you want to watch a, like a get ready with me or like a let's just hang out and chat while I do my makeup kind of thing? Is that something you guys would like? Wow, you guys, that looks crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead like crazy good. Like that's really nice. Um, and everything is settling so nicely together. Like my foundation and like the powder and the concealer like it's all just going together very nicely like I said though I can definitely feel it so I'll be interested to see how everything layers goes together and whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to start shooting the next video um, for the eyeshadows and um, you will see me again when it's all done and I'm gonna try to do two and not screw it up too bad because hopefully you guys don't care right right so I will be right back with a full face and I'm really excited about it Okay guys, I went ahead, I got all my makeup on, finally. I filmed that other video. In case you were curious, it is a review of the new LA Girl eyeshadow palettes, which are now all over my arms. I know, it's beautiful, right? So this video will probably, or that video will probably come sometime around this video, and you'll be like, hey, she looks the same. Yes, I do, and that is why. So I have to say, overall, this foundation is looking very nice. I had some minor fallout on the upper nozzle cheek area, and I was able to brush it away. It didn't seem to interact badly. It didn't like settle in. I haven't had any real issues. Uh, bronzer, blush, highlight, everything layered really nicely. Um, I actually, I had a little bit of a bold brow moment today. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and um, it was kind of a thing because I had to go in and use some concealer and I was like, oh, it's not gonna look good but it blended out beautifully and I think the brows turned out great and I was just like, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have to look nice, then I guess we have to. So, so far you guys, I think that this is turning out beautifully. I can't wait to check in with you at the end of the day and kind of see how it wore after six, eight, 10 or however many hours it ends up being. But so far it looks very nice. It's not settling in too bad. Um, at first I thought we were gonna have an issue, like I said, around the nose, but nothing there it's it sat down beautifully like and it feels a lot lighter than I thought it would with all the products on top of it but it honestly doesn't feel that heavy like I feel if anything it almost seems lighter now than it did when I was going through and putting it on initially which is kind of like what and I just can't get over how little of that product I needed to really create a full like face so I'm kind of intrigued. Oh, and FYI, I'm trying to remember. On the lips, I put Hunty by Jeffree Star. It's like a light camel nude color. Um, I went in with my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. My It Cosmetics blush that I can't find. I don't know where that one went. Um, and then another Jeffree Star highlight in Crystal Ball. I don't know if you've noticed, I am obsessed with this highlight. I use it all the time. I have all of his highlighters like stacked right here and I literally reach for that one like at least 85% of the time because I'm obsessed with it. So, um, and it's mainly because like, look at how blinding. Like it's just, ugh, it's so perfect, especially when you're pasty. Like it's just, oh, well, hello. <laughs> so I think, is that everything? Oh, and then just the Anastasia Brow Pomade and then I went in with Buxom Mascara for my lashes. Yes, that's everything. Okay, I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know how this whole thing went. And we will talk about it all then and kind of go from there. But until then, I'm gonna go eat my sandwich because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, this Milk Makeup Foundation has been on my face for just over eight hours. I had some time today. I got some work done. I did some editing. I painted my nails, you guys. Praise God, they are finally painted. They are so cute. Okay, um, my thoughts on this makeup, it actually lasted really well. Um, as you guys know, I had a ton, like I did another video today. I had just a lot of other stuff going on and I was actually a little apprehensive about doing this specific foundation review today because I was like, oh, you know, what if, what if, what if, what if it doesn't wear, what if, what if. And I'm actually really glad that I kind of made it do some work today because it kind of showed me up. Like it did a nice job. Um, from far away, I still think in the viewfinder it looks really nice. In the mirror, I think it looks pretty good. When I get up close, um, it definitely, and I'll do the close up, don't you? Don't you fret peoples. But it definitely got a little bit cakey around here, just a little bit. Nothing too bad, a little bit of cake on the nose. Again, not horribly. Um, we settled into the smile lines right here and right here. I have I have two like little parentheses on both sides when I smile. You can see them settled right in there, which is unfortunate a little. But did the same thing on my forehead, but nothing 
horrible. I mean, the planes of my face still look very nice. They're still pretty covered. Uh, I would say almost as covered as they were when I started. We had a little, like, eat little little bit of sluffage but not too bad um and that smell i was talking about earlier it's just like a perfumey smell but I, I feel like i know what it is and i just cannot put my finger on it but honestly it dissipated really quickly like i smelled it when i put it on and then as i put it on my face i didn't notice it again so that was good um it was not nearly as strong as like the cucumber smell in the ysl foundation um but overall i feel like this foundation actually would probably wear really well um i think that the about there the concealer I'd have to work with a little bit just because where I did put it I only put it in a couple spots as you guys know because it was very flesh toned it was the same tone as that foundation which I don't understand but um I feel like it should have covered that coverage should have stayed there like I put some here and that spot is pretty open now um and then a couple areas over here and those areas are open as well so I'm kind of like eh, a little bit on the fence about the concealer um and when I blended it out initially on my under eye it didn't offer much coverage so that one I'm kind of like pushing aside a little bit I'm not a huge fan but the milk makeup the foundation side of it pretty good so far um, I think that it held up very nicely. It didn't emphasize too much texture. It was definitely buildable, but I didn't need to build it very much. Um, just because, like I said in the first part, it had really nice coverage right out of the gate. I mean, it wore very nicely. It did not oxidize. I was able to get a pretty good uh, match all the way down my neck, so I didn't have an issue there. And I kept checking on it to see if it was going to oxidize, you know, from like maybe the ear or into the neck somewhere. And it didn't happen, so it actually ended up working out okay. Um, I think that this is something I could probably get away with for a little while. Definitely something, though, that I might want to find a shade that's a little, a little closer to my natural pasty self. But I think for our first impressions, I think it worked just fine. Um, how about we get into that close-up, though? So I think, like I said before, the only couple areas that I really wanted to note are right around here and right here a little bit. A little tiny bit if I can move the nose a little bit on the nose right up in here yep you can kind of see that a little little tiny like mild mild cakey around the mouth but like very mild nothing that I would be upset about after this long and then on the cheeks we're still looking pretty good on the planes of my face where everything kind of comes together I'm saying everything looks okay uh, this right here and this right here are two of the, I think, three or four places that I put that concealer. As you can see, they are not really covered all that well anymore, which is kind of a bummer. Um, these are the smile lines. You can kind of see it settled in there and there and then on the forehead as well, all up on here. It settled into this line, but not too bad into these lines. So... Overall, not the worst. Just a little bit, ooh, ah, a little bit more, ooh, ah, just a little bit, let's zoom, ah, 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 ah. So, you guys, I think the deal is, at the end of the day, this foundation, like, I'm giving it a pretty good score. I mean, honestly, for my first impression of it, how well it wore, I did not blot. Um, I did go in and do one of these um maybe like two hours ago but i didn't blot i am pretty shiny so like if i was gonna go any longer than eight hours like six well probably seven to eight hours i would have to blot just because i feel like it is a pretty shiny like i only put highlighter here so i shouldn't be shiny on here and here and you know up in this area so i am a little tiny bit too shiny for my personal liking but i did not blot and i feel like my forehead is pretty good my chin's pretty good for being no blotting at all i feel like we're doing pretty good um as it wears it doesn't get tacky or anything like that um it felt a little heavy as we entered like the seven hour mark it felt a little bit heavy like i could feel it being like okay Paige, are you done yet and, okay but I still think normally when it gets to that point where I'm like, oh God, I feel it and it's bad, shh, I'm busy. But normally when it gets that far, it's kind of like, okay, we need to get this off the face. And, and then it starts to really start to look bad. And this didn't do that, so I was pretty happy. So for my first impressions for this, for me on my super textured skin, I think that this, uh, this foundation is getting a pass for me. It's getting like probably seven and a half, eight out of ten. We're looking pretty good. We're looking decent still. 
planes are doing okay. Um, I will keep you guys surprised on this a little bit of texture that I noticed kind of, I don't want to say pop up because I definitely have a lot of texture on like my upper cheek area right in here. Um, and I feel like that kind of surfaced as the day and like the wear went on for this foundation, but in like a little bit too on my nose, I feel like my pores are kind of a little more out to play than I would like. But even with all of that, I still feel like it wore beautifully and it's probably not going to change my mind. Mm. I almost forgot to mention the, can't reach my phone, the price on this stuff. Hold on one second. But the concealer is $28 and the foundation is $40. And again, in case I didn't say this a hundred times, I picked the foundation up in the shade Golden Light and you are supposed to shake before you use it. Why am I shaking it right now? Don't know. And I picked the concealer up in the shade Light. Personally, I kind of feel like when I get a foundation and it comes in like a really nice jar, like this is just my Maybelline Better Skin, but when it comes in like a nice jar, um, where's wherever that YSL, God only knows where that ended up, it's probably, you know, under my bed. But when I feel like when you spend more money for a foundation, you want to feel like you're getting quality. And that is the only issue I have with this milk makeup is I feel like it feels cheap. Like to me, these kind of seem like those acrylic paints that you use, like when you're like, oh, I'm a professional artist, I'm gonna get my canvas out and like put a couple drops of this on here and like, oh, I'm gonna drop it. Like it's it's that kind of like, oh, 10.99 a tube or, well, I don't know how much acrylic paints are, but it reminds me of like cheaper than $40 foundation that's supposed to be great. And quite frankly, this isn't bad. So I feel like that's the only thing that I have an issue with really is the packaging. But at the same time, part of me likes it because they did something a little bit different, a little minimalistic, a little bit fun. You know, I kind of, I can see where they're coming from, but it's something to point out if you're someone that really appreciates like a good, you know, like a heavy bottle, like this is Bare Minerals or like Marc Jacobs or something like that, that really appreciates the feeling of luxury, you will probably want to discredit this right on the like first go of it, like, oh, $40. Whoopie doo wah, I'm going to play frisbee with it, you know, and you're going to get that same kind of feeling from it. Don't play frisbee with your foundations. Kids, they are too expensive. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that's kind of like one of my only things that I really wanted to remember to touch on. But you do get one fluid ounce. It is $40, which is pretty right in the realm for, you know, amount versus cost for like the higher end side. Um, is it the best foundation I've ever used? No, but it's definitely very nice on the skin. Um, I would wear this to work and, and it would last very well. So those are my thoughts, you guys. Um, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> all I have to say. It's like seven years long. If you guys ever have any questions, comments, or anything like that, anything you want me to try, hit me up in the comment section. I do my best to kind of see it on the horizon and get to it before you guys ask me. But hey, you know what? Ask me anyways, because I miss things. Because let's face it, I'm busy and I have a horrible memory. So anything like that, you guys, comments section is down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are building, we are moving, we are cranking, and I am loving it, you guys. We are almost, side note, to 10,000 views. Holy shit, is that awesome. We hit, tonight actually, we hit 250 subscribers. Yeah, girl, I'm dying over here. And um, I'm super excited. And don't forget, social media handles are also down below. I'm super excited. I love interacting with you guys and just this whole thing in general. I just think it's, I'm having so much fun and I love it. And it's really helped to take me away from like a lot of the other stuff that's going on. And thank you because I love it and I love that you guys are great. And I have some of the best subscribers in the world. So I'm going to get going, you guys. I will talk to you all later. Bye. Choo-choo-choo.